Hey, what's happening, gamers? Welcome back to Octopath Traveler here on the Kaylin's Let's Plays channel. And Amber's yes! pumped. <laughs> yes! This is actually our favorite game to play on the Switch. Yay! It's a lot of fun. So we're here in the town of Clearbrook, which has our next uh, character. So we're going to go uh -huh. be introduced to him and see what's uh, going on in this quaint little village. Green Bubble Man. Zeph, Nina, you better hold on for me. There ain't... Oh, he's kind of cowboy. There ain't no way I'm letting that venom beat you. You hear me, Viper? I'm coming for you. He's on the Oregon Trail. <laughs> yeah, totally. His name is Alfin. He is an apothecary. His whole life has been spent in the pastoral village of Clearbrook, where he looks after the residents as basically a young doctor or a uh, CVS pharmacist. Oh. He's not alone in his efforts, though. Zeph, his best friend since boyhood, works alongside him. He knows medis medicine stuff. Medicine man. When Zeph's little sister is bitten by a deadly viper, <gasps> it falls to Alfie to fashion an antidote before the poison takes her. Dun, dun. And so... He ventures out to the cave of Rio, where he must do battle with a dread beast. <gasps> he will need to care. He will need caring allies on the path he's chosen. He doesn't need to care about his allies. They need to care about him. I know. Take Alfin along. Travel to other areas. Maybe to restricted. That's fine. Yes. And we are going to replace. Let's get rid of somebody. Primrose. Bye. Goodbye, Primrose. And actually, interestingly enough, you can't get rid of uh Ophelia. Yeah. Okay. So we're good. We have an art we have a we're all men now. Uh here are the beginning of his tale, sure. So this is Alfie's tale. Your reputation in Clearbook has improved. <laughs> oh. Uh you might want to cover your mouth. Uh yeah. <laughs> uh oh. Hopefully he doesn't have a deadly disease. <laughs> Because Coughing there's... just shows oh, your age. Be strong. Be strong, grandfather. Can you really save him with that medicine of yours? See, I knew what op carry you was. Betcha. Yeah, just you did. Tight. It's like a oh, doctor a medicine man. Apothecary. Yeah. Yeah. Apothecary. Hi there. Hello. Bam! That should do her. Drink it down slowly now. Well, hurry. Thank you, my boy. Whoa. <laughs> Don't mention it. Just doing my job. He sounded like a cowboy before. I know. I just... This will stop the coughing for now. But your lungs have seen better days. Harsh! You don't Whoa. want a doctor to say that. Ouch. Try to give the pipe a rest, sir. Here. Oh. Yeah, no, no more smoking. So that's right, Shadow. You tell that old man. He uses words like "yeah." Thank you ever so much. You're welcome, lady. <laughs> How blessed we are to have an apothecary like you in our little village. That's great, Shadow. Crazy cat. It's not much, but please. My reward is that justice has been done. Nah, it's on the house. Why don't y'all hold on to that and buy something tasty for you and your grandpa? So you don't need money to eat, or...? I'll be back to check in on him, okay? That's the man you marry. He does Go get him, granddaughter! He does his services for free? Wow. Oh, she missed her chance. So she's She'd be gonna... like, take me instead! She's gonna marry a guy that basically makes no money at his job? In this age, <laughs> the arts of medicine and healing are still in their infancy. Oh, great. So the leech doctors. Yep. With disease and illness rampant, the people rely on... Uh, salves, salves and tinctures. Wow. Fashioned by... Apothecaries. Thank you. I just wanted to see if you knew it. The vocab words are, <laughs> are done by Amber in this series. Did you see me, Ma? I whipped up an anti-tussive elixir like you wouldn't believe. Uh, ouch. Anti-tussive? Can't what? believe it's been a year already. Am I any closer to being the man I want to be? The man he was. Pretty sure salves have like herbs in them and stuff. Ow! I've been looking all over for you. It's like natural remedies. Hey, Zeph. Done for the day? 
Yes, only two patients today. Having you around sure eases the burden. If only I could convince you to quit giving out discounts. I know, right? Oh, come on. The poor gal has enough trouble looking after old Alec. I can't very well take what little she has. And that's why your business is terrible. <laughs> I'm just teasing. It's fine. My business is bigger than yours because I actually take money for my you know services. That's what I like about you. If the villagers are healthy and happy, that's more than good enough for me. By the way, Frank, can I stay at your house or? <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself. I'm living on the street. We may be new to this, <laughs> but between the two of us, this village is in good hands. <laughs> sure is. Plagues, <laughs> epidemics, bring your worst. No, uh, never say no, that. It's not. No, why did you? Why did you I'm do that? You, Alf. We all are. Yes, his name is Alf. Alf. I'm gonna call him sure. Alfie. Alf. Who would have thought that little troublemaker would turn out to be a top-notch apothecary, huh? Huh? What? We can't all be born with a silver pestle in hand, Master Zeph. I know, right? Your mother would be proud. If they disagree with each other, one of them should punch the other one. Stop. <laughs> anyway, I should be getting back to Nina. That only works at conventions. Zing! Yeah, My bad. Head on home, big brother. Wait. They're related? I thought that was like a best friend thing going on for a second there. I know. It seemed like he was... Uh, hey, Alfin. Uh, We've been friends ever since we were small, right? Now I'm confused. They're, they're like brothers because they're so close as I friends. I know you better than anyone. So be honest. You're keeping something from me, aren't you? I have magical powers. I have Batman. I'm right, aren't I? <gasps> Alf, the truth is... Master Zeph! <gasps> what? You got Master Zeph, you must come quickly. It's... It's your sister. Oh, no! A plague, perhaps. Oh, no. Actually, we know it's a snake bite. This is sad. These look like bite marks. Alfin, could you take a look as well? They need to rush her to the ER. Hmm? You got it, buddy. Oh, wait. They're so casual about it. Oh, these look like snake mic. Uh, up oh, she died. <laughs> that night, the little girl turned into a snake monster. She's fallen into a deep trance. This is worse than we thought. <sighs> Indeed. Nina's the only family I have. If I lost her, I'd... Become a supervillain. No. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. Deep. Wish she could tell us what happened. She got bit by a snake. It's safe to assume she was bitten by something poisonous. But what? Without knowing the nature of the poison... Yeah, the wrong medicine could make things worse. And quick. Interesting. Yeah. Damn it all! What this... foul beast did this to my Nina? Let me ask around. Maybe someone saw something. I, I wish my head made that noise when I, uh... Hmm. It's like a Power Ranger helmet. Utilize each character's unique action uh, to overcome any obstacle. My action is Alfie can inquire and learn sorts of information from people. So he's pretty much like Cyrus. Okay. Yeah, definitely. That's interesting that someone may have seen something if she was out on her own, though. Mm-hmm. Like, how could they... I don't remember anything, honest! Inquire. Oh yeah, so she's friends with Nina since childhood. The two have grown up like sisters. The rather more strong-willed Nina often takes the lead on their secret adventures into the dangerous wilds outside the village. Bum, bum, bum. Why would they go there if they're little girls? Nice chatting with you. Thanks. Nina's secret. Come on now. Lily. The bite marks on Nina's leg. You sure you don't know where they came from? Um. Hmm. I want to help your friend, but 
I'm a, a doctor, not a miracle worker. I'm a doctor, not a miracle worker, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> if I don't know what bitter, <laughs> there's nothing I can do. That's funny. Oh, but, but, uh, uh, huh? You want to help her too, right? Just tell me, please. But... Oh. Nina... Nina wanted to pick... Oh, Nina is... Water blooms for her brother, and... Uh... I wasn't so sure about it, but... I went with her to that cave... And then... This giant snake came out of the bushes and... And... Ah! Oh! I hate snakes! I mean, what kind of snake? Was it black? Um, I have to know now! Nope. Uh, no, he has to know to identify the poison. I can't believe it, but... Don't tell me... Was it amber with blotches on its back? <gasps> Yes! How, how did you know? <laughs> Little girl voice for the wind. The flame take me. A blotted viper. <gasps> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I know we're not supposed to go there. It's just... But Nina wanted to be it to be a surprise. So she told me to keep it a secret and... I see it. Mm, thanks, Lily. You told me all I needed. Now you'll be locked up in prison for life! <laughs> you were very brave to bring Nina back here. And don't you worry anymore about that scary snake, hear me? Hear me! I have nightmares every night about it. Alright, I know the snake now. Nina. Good. The blotted viper! Ah! <laughs> A nasty critter, if I ever was one. This ain't good. Hmm. Hmm. Time is of the essence. The poison is spreading through her veins as we speak. I must prepare the antidote with all haste. Oh my gosh, we have to go get the snake venom. That's yeah. why. <gasps> but I need to get my hands on the original venom. Oh my gosh. There's supposed to be a nest of vipers in the cave, right? <gasps> this is so dangerous! Yeah, along with plenty of other nasties, recklessness ain't the half of it. Well, he, he likes his well, A in a lot. I know, but what choice do I have? It's like he's saying it pro- he's speaking proper, but he's saying it bad grammar. I'll leave it once. Look after Nina for me. Yes. Hold on now. Zeph. Hmm? <laughs> Whoa, you look after her, I'll go. What's going on with our system? I have no idea. That was crazy. Huh. Alfie, are you mad? Yes. I'm responsible for Nina. I won't let you risk your life like this. What's going on with our system? I have no idea. It's kind of crazy. Don't worry about me now. Go back to your sister's side. Just a minute. I swear, have you taken leave of your sense... Oh, Seth, where are you? Uh, Nina! I'm here, little Nina. Will you hold my hand? <sighs> See, Zeph, she needs you. Grr. Thanks, Elf. Come back safe, you hear? This might be the shortest story yet. I know. And so, I have a date with this viper, you see? We just met, and still you want to come and help me out? Uh, shucks, friend. I owe you one. Man, he talks like... Like... I don't he know. He is like a... He talks like he lives in the mountains, like somewhere in the south, but he... He's like, Shucks, friend! <laughs> they... I ain't going nowhere. That hmm. is right. I don't know. It's just weird. They're good folks in this village down to the last, and Zeph's always stuck by my side, so I'll be blasted if I won't stick by his. Yeah! So let's go! We're heading for the cave, uh, just east of the village. We better hurry for Nina's sake. Yeah, that is the fastest story in the game. It probably has to be so fast because Nina literally is about to die from snake venom. Ah, uh, that could be it. It's like, oh my gosh, we have to get it! 
we're going, like, we're going. It's like, we probably should have said all that way faster. Like, yes, and this happened to Nina. And then it was over here. And then we have to, and then we have to go to the game. We have to go right now. <gasps> oh my gosh, did you know? Oh my gosh, I probably shouldn't tell you people. This. Nope, don't tell me anything freaky, please. It has please. to do with Snake Venom. No! Stuff that I watched on... Nope. Uh, you're, you're not... You're okay. Just, no. It has to do with, like... I said no! Okay. Pineapple! All right! Respect the sacred word of pineapple, you fiend! <laughs> okay, we're... Wait, do I already have... I'm just trying to give people useful information. <laughs> no! Not useful information! Bad Amber! Go to your corner. <laughs> He's got a better weapon, that's all we care about. Let's go! Onward to the cave! Which, uh, this will still probably end up being split into two episodes anyway, but yeah, that is the shortest story in existence. Hi there. Um, I'm gonna challenge you, because I, I can. you should still make his accent, like, southern or something. Inquire. Be fun. According to my research, the snakes inhabiting the cave uh, but they're large or small, can be looped into, lopped into with a few solid swings of an axe. The nasty froggers that roam the roads will not go down so easily, but not as long as one has the means to freeze those things. Okay, cool. That's a nice little hint. So, axe and ice magic. Cool. Which we have an abundance of. We have our sorcerer still and all that good stuff. So you freeze it with ice magic and then you hack it with your axe? With my axe! Yeah. Oops. And then you toss your shortest party member. I already got rid of Primrose. Uh -huh. I can't... Uh, Ophelia, you can't get rid of. She's like... She is well, the she leader. Is, she's the healer, though. But she's also the leader. It's her story. Everybody yeah. else is just kind of tagging along. That's true. Ooh, froggies. Uh. Alright, Cyrus, you up? This is their vulnerable against ice and axe. Okay, so... Set vulnerable against sword, too, so let's just have some... Yeah, they are vulnerable against sword. There we go. Oh, Bring no. it on! Bring it on! What is this? Apicary right. skills. What do you do? He is a first... He is also a healer, and he has ice magic. That makes him very useful. It feels like he wanted to go get the snake because he doesn't think, like, he's his life is worth very much or something. Because he feels bad about something he did in the past or something. Because it feels like when he said, oh, you have a secret, it feels like maybe he was a bad person before. And then he became a healer, maybe. Or I don't know. I'm just, I'm just making it like maybe he didn't want that guy to end up. Maybe he thought it would be better if he died or something if the snake ended up biting him because that he didn't want to like taint that guy who has a good life or something. Yeah, that could know. be very possible. <laughs> he break. Well then. well then, um, light magic. Oh, wow, that guy survived. That's pretty impressive. All right. All right, let's use our ice skills. Yeah. He still survived. Yay. And that will bring in our good friend Olberic for the win. Nice job. I grow strong. There we go. Wow, and level up three levels. Yep, and Cyrus is close to a level 15, which is going to be very useful for us. So that's very exciting. Yeah, definitely. All right, so there's a treasure chest right here. We're going to open that. Thank you kindly. And we're going to do our best to get to the boss today. We're not going to fight the boss today because that's going to take some time, but at least we'll get to explore the cave a little bit. And uh, yeah. pretty excited how this episode turned out. I was thinking it was going to be 30 minutes of story like most of the stuff that we usually see so mm -hmm. I appreciate the haste of the episode yeah definitely just because I mean what I would really like to see is the character stories like interchanging a little bit because I mean we're getting introduced to all these different characters but none of them have a connection that's what's making this feel to me a little bit different than like a Final Fantasy game where each character um, has some connection to the overall story Right now, I'm not seeing that. Yeah. Each person has their own thing. So Yeah, they're all, like, separated at first. Maybe they'll come together later. That's also what made uh, the um, Bravely Default series so good, is because all the characters had a different nothing. stake in what was going on in the grand scheme of things. Yeah. It I made mean, it more interesting. Yeah, this game is interesting because, like, you have so many different choices of who you can have in your party. 
I guess that was the same with Bravely Default. I don't know, but... I don't remember how many people were like, in Bravely Default. There's honest. so many different types of people. Maybe as the game goes on, you'll... Like, if you chose this certain combination, then the game will go in one direction. If you choose another combination, it will go another. I don't know. That's how I wish they did it, but that would be so much coding and so much work put into it. Oh, yeah. So, like, so far, it's already amazing that, you know, your story, everything is affected by your decisions of who you want in your party, everything. Yep. Nice job, Cyrus! Woohoo! And he's just a little bookworm, but look at him go! And Alfie's uh, gaining some levels, so that's always good. Good job, Cyrus! Woohoo! Get a thumbs up there, buddy. Good job, Cyrus! And this is actually going to be a great battle because we're going to have two healers on our side now. Which... Oh! But I still which... say that Ophelia is the better healer. Just because that's her thing. She comes from, like, an entire society of healers or whatever. Oh, okay. She has magical powers. I don't know where to go inside this cave. Never been here before. This is totally new for me, so... Wow, yeah, I have never been in here either. That's what makes this game the fun. Uh-oh. Yep. Let's see, who gets to attack first? Cyrus? Bring it on! Alright, let's try our axe on that snake. I didn't really chop the snake in half, though. Sword. I will cut you down! Yeah, there we go. That's fun. Yep. Yeah, you're fighting like a giant uh slug thing. Alright, let's go with Well then. Luminescence! Prepare to face the light of oblivion. Bye bye. What were you hoping for? A little miracle? Yes! Level 17 for Ophelia! Woohoo! We did it! That's how we roll, people, right there. That's how we roll. Yeah, slow claps are appreciated. <laughs> Wait, how do I uh, get to that treasure chest? Hey, though? good job, Luke. Oh, that's how one gets to the treasure chest. Yeah, these places are a little hard to navigate. Yeah, definitely. Right, we're gonna go down this way. And... Hmm. Another treasure chest. Give! Yay, more treasure! Invigorating nut. I don't know what that means. Mm. Kinda weird. Oh, another treasure chest over here. Grab that. Bronze vest. That's what we're gonna give to uh, our little friend here. So you have bronze armor. Mm. You have a fur robe. Bronze vest. Okay, we're good. Let's go. Let's -a go! Wrong game, but okay, I guess. It's kind of like, what? Purifying. Ah, oh, another, another battle. Let's see what you got. All right, we're gonna see what you got, flying bat things. What is the logical course? Logical course of action is ice wind. Boom! Nice job. I know that was fun, wasn't it? Ow. Now then. Now then. I think you'll love level slash. Yes. Woohoo! Woo that was right. fun. Yep, snakes break pretty easy with that. And then we bring up our cleric with luminescence and boom. Hmm. Good job. The flame guides us true. Yes, yes it does guide us true. Let's uh Alfie up there a little bit. So I'm actually gonna grind just a little bit. Because if we go too far, uh, then we're gonna be in problems. If you need anything, just say the word. I need to buy some stuff. So, we have a lot of healing grapes. I need more of the olive of life, just in case. Oh. Yeah. How do I not have that much gold? What happened? Where'd all my gold go? I, I grinded a bunch. That's messed up. Hmm. That is weird. That is weird. All right. So, anyway, guys and gals, that is going to do it for this episode. Join us next time as we go to the boss of this area and uh, see if we can save that little girl and then of course get Alfie to join our party indefinitely. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and Yay! we'll have another episode for you guys in a couple days. This is a bi-weekly series, so your support is key for this to continue. So until we meet again, God bless and happy gaming. See!
Yeah.